Hello everybody, it's Current Cartoon TV coming to you with a special goodbye to Steven Universe. My name is Outlaw and I will be your host today. I'm actually joined by Gundam. What's up guys? And I'm also joined by Red. Hello there. As Steven Universe future has ended, it also ends another era of great animation, great storytelling, and I just wanted to take a moment to actually go over what we will take from Steven Universe. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. And Red, how about you go ahead and tell us what what has Steven Universe has done for you? What it's done for me specifically is I met, I have met so many people and so many groups and communities that love this show. There are, there are so many people that have been inspired to do cosplay, to start drawing again, to start animating. It's an incredible experience, especially I've watched this from the beginning and it's it's been a crazy journey looking back on six years of my life and how I've spent it and also with watching Steven Universe. Another thing is my friend, who is now my fiance, we started watching this together. I first showed him Steven Universe and he was blown away by this and we kept watching it together for a while and then you know he went and did his own thing but he would still keep watching it even though others around him weren't too into it he would still watch it and he still got caught up and I got caught up at the time so it was just another thing to bond over for us so th this is this is an amazing experience I, I just wanted to say thank you thank you to everybody who has been a part of this community and journey and how about you Gundam what does Steven Universe bring to you I'd have to agree with Red I've met so many people in the community so many people in my life that I'm good friends with now I met through Steven Universe or their their like of Steven Universe or love of Steven Universe now and Steven Universe as a whole really does push forward the medium for animation like you said for storytelling and there are certain things that are in this show certain messages certain animation types certain story elements that other de designers would never have attempted before this show came to, to came into being the the fact of you know different genders and characters and uh people getting hurt in such a way you know having a kid be the the superhero rebecca sugar really proved with her message that steven universe is an idea is a way of expressing oneself in animation in music in colors and everything and it really to me um I, as an artist myself in the digital artist at least it really shows me that people are still pushing it people are still trying to get it to its limits and this show shows all those people that there are still limits to be pushed. It's not done yet. We're not we're not to the end yet. Keep drawing, keep going, keep moving forward. And it really helped me go forward in a lot of areas where I thought hey, there could have been a dead end. So it really brought so much to me. And I just want to thank Steven Universe. And what Steven Universe brought to me was this. Six years ago, I watched the first episode of Steven Universe. It was about a boy living with alien parents with magical powers. To be honest, at this time in my life, I was done with American cartoons, and I felt like this show was going nowhere. This was just a show of stupid jokes and no plot whatsoever, as any other show was playing at the time. Who would watch a show about a child having magical powers that his mother left him living in a house full of aliens? I was turned off by this and decided that this was not a show for me. As time went by, I tend to stay clear from any news about this show as I was dealing with my own troubles and hardship with my own life. One day I decided to turn on the TV and have something playing in the background. There it was again, a show called Steven Universe playing. Normally I would have changed the channel but something stopped me. The episode was Mirror Gym and it was the first time I seen a new gym and the struggles of Steven had to overcome. It hit me in as I continued to watch the next episode, then the next, and then even the next one. At this time, it changed my views of the show. This wasn't a show about a weird kid with magical powers and stupid jokes. It had a meaning, feeling, and a plot going well with it. I spent my time going back watching every episode that I missed, 
meeting new characters and seeing how the show evolved with time. Then it happened. Watching Jailbreak season finale cemented my love for Steven Universe. The characters, the locations, the villains. I absolutely love every moment of it. Steven Universe opened me up to meeting new people and expressing my love for Steven Universe. This is how I met Red, as she also expressed her love of Steven Universe as much as I did. I remember her coming over the first time to my place and watching The Answer together, and us seeing the backstory of Garnet. Red is also the one that moved me out of the comfort zone as we both cosplayed together. I cosplayed as Greg Universe, as she did Rose Quartz for Sabaton, a local anime convention for a Steven Universe meetup, which was amazing. During this time, I got reacquainted with an old friend of mine. He was already a Steven Universe fan, and I remember the times we would spend eating breakfast at places around town, just talking about theories and what could and could not happen in Steven Universe. That's when Gundam and I created Current Cartoon TV, and our first review was The New Crystal Gems, fitting as well as we were the new channel talking about Steven Universe. As we started doing more and more cartoons, Steven Universe was always there as it took priority over any other shows that was airing. As time went by, Red decided to join us as a special guest during the Steven Universe Wanted Steven Bomb, and soon after that joined us here on CCTV for the Steven Universe reviews and the rest is history. So what Steven Universe brought to me was more than just entertainment. It renewed my faith in people, it taught me to believe in myself, and bring me new adventures with new and old friends. So I, Wayne, otherwise known as Outlaw here on CCTV, want to personally thank Rebecca Sugar and the Crewiverse for a great gift they have given us. And I want to thank Red and Gundam for sticking with me and this channel. And I want to thank you, Vash, for the amazing artwork you have created for this channel. It might not be the greatest Steven Universe channel on YouTube, but I think it's great. And if every pork chop was perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. As there may never be a show like this, I want to thank everyone for watching our reviews of Steven Universe, Steven Universe the Movie, and Steven Universe Future. And as always, believe in yourself, create your own destiny, and never fear failure. Thank you guys so much, both of you uh, as well. Thank you, Red. Thanks, Outlaw. Thank you so much for doing the things that you guys do and being there for the people who need you the most. And it really, really sets an example for, you know, just in general. I mean, we we kept doing this the entire time. And, you know, you know how, like, bands break up and stuff? You know, that none of that kind of stuff ever happened, like any, like, the you know, drama or anything like that. I really want to thank both of you for being very adult and very mature about all this kind of stuff um, throughout the entire process. I wanted to thank both of you guys too. I'm so glad that we've, you know, I met Outlaw at a, con a, a dinky little convention way down south where I used to live. And that was, that was more than six years ago. It was probably like 10 years ago now. And I think I did the same thing with you Gundam about that time I met you. And I'm s and you were just, a, you guys were first just acquaintances, and I'm extremely glad that we've become so close as friends. Thank you both. And thank you guys for listening to our goodbye to Steven Universe. Yeah, as always, you know, have a, have a nice night. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, guys. Turn around.